tilt it up. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, I'm just curious about your stance on college as a scam because I feel like, according to the Hamilton Institute, uh, people who get bachelor degrees over a total lifetime earnings will earn of over $1 million more than those who don't. And also, I feel like college is an important place for people to like go learn valuable life lessons. And also, it's good to have like a balanced society because then you're going to get artists, you're also going to get architectures, you're going to get engineers, you're going to get all sorts of different people that we need in society because... Like, what's the point in living if we don't have writers or artists, you know? So I just want to take, get your take on that. Sure. The question is, do the best writers learn to write in college? Probably not, no. The best writers are gifted writing, and they learn to write by writing. Uh, and I would just argue that this kind of holistic view you get, for example, what are you studying? Can I, can I ask? Economics. Okay, so what do you think of Thomas Sowell? Um, I actually really like him. I bought his book, Basic Economics. Right. He's one of the first economists. Do, I do they really teach it at. here? Uh, not yet, but also... Okay, been for like so now you're proving my point. If you're studying economics and they're not teaching Thomas Sowell, you're not getting an education, you're getting an indoctrination. Well, and no. you're being scammed. Okay. Milton Friedman, do they teach Milton Friedman here? No, but I'm aware of him. Okay, Ludwig von Mises. I'm aware of him, but no. Murray but, Rothbard, hold on. No. F.A. Hayek. No. Frederick Bastiat. No. You're not getting economics education, you're getting an indoctrination. You should know every single, it's not your fault, but the, what you're paying for or going into debt for is not a real economic education. Those are the people that theorized about free markets, and that, which is a legitimate school of thinking. Monetarism, private property rights, and the fact that you, and not, I'm not criticizing you, I'm criticizing the institution that's failing you, mm. that you don't know what these people believe and you're not being taught that rigorously, proves my point that college is a scam. Yeah, but again, I've only been here like a semester and a half. So, but what do you know who John Maynard Keynes is? <laughs> Heard of him. I okay. actually you did read about him a little bit. Okay, so you read about John Maynard Keynes, but in you class. were Keynes. Yeah, in class. I yeah, okay. in class. Right. So th that's my point is that they'll teach you Keynes, but they won't teach you one out of the seven people that I mentioned, Bastiat, Hayek, von Mises, Rothbard, Sol or Friedman. And that's that that proves my point, which is that it's all demand side. It's all one picture of an economic argument that is not the complete picture of what, now maybe later on you'll get a supply side you know, economics teacher here, mm. but this idea that you go to college to kind of get your worldview liberated, yet you get your worldview altered, to be perfectly honest. Secondly, to your point of earnings over a period of time, it matters completely and solely on what you study. Yeah. If you study the liberal arts, even after 10, year, 10 years, study came out yesterday, 16 lowest paid majors happen to be some of the highest majors that people actually go and study, which is liberal arts, you know, sociology, God bless people that do that stuff, I suppose. Um, but you're also filled with all of the woke rubbish that is infecting our society.